My last video generated a lot of attention, over 100,000 views and a lot of comments, over 500 of them actually, and I read and replied to every single one of them. One thing that a few of my viewers disagreed with was the concept of specializing. So in today's video, let's dive deep into the benefits of specializing in the world of photography. By the way, specializing isn't about narrowing down your focus, it's about honing in on a particular niche and becoming a true expert in that area. Here are some key advantages that come with specializing. Specializing allows you to focus your energy on perfecting the techniques specific to your chosen niche. Whether it's mastering the art of dramatic lighting for portraits, capturing the intricate details of macro photography, or nailing your composition for your landscape shots, specializing enables you to refine your skills to a level of expertise that's just not achievable with the generalized broad approach. Focusing on one area of photography like people, places, or things enables you to get better at the nuances of your skill set. My specialty since I started making money at photography has always been photographing people. I started this photography game wanting to be a fashion photographer and a fashion photographer I became. Shooting fashion was my main focus until I got that piece of advice from Michael Gregg that you heard in my last video. Anyone can make pictures of beautiful people. It takes a real photographer to shoot the rest of us. I had been making portraits of my friends as my personal work. And that practice quickly became my main work when I started working editorially for the Globe and Mail newspaper. I added portraits to my skill set of what I could do and I started showing them in my portfolio, specifically my editorial portraits for magazines. Shooting in an editorial style also opened up advertising work, again, people-related advertising work. What I realized was I was fast, I connected with my subjects quickly, and I was creating a level of work that usually took much longer to achieve. Shooting editorially helped me master shooting for print, and it helped me shoot in a way that made my images work with text. This is still the type of work that I do today, and Photographing people is still my specialty. When you specialize, you're not just taking photos, you're making photos and you're crafting a distinct visual language. This focused approach gives you the opportunity to develop a unique style that becomes your visual signature. As you immerse yourself in your chosen niche, you'll find new ways to approach your subject matter, you'll experiment with different angles, and you'll get to play with creative elements that truly set your work apart. Focusing on one niche or genre makes you better in less time than trying to get good at shooting everything. By focusing on shooting people exclusively, I got good at photographing people fast understanding light time of day skin tone exposure expression and too many more nuanced things to mention in this video specializing in photographing people helped me relate to people understand people communicate with people and most importantly be creative with people your portfolio is your calling card in the photography industry specializing empowers you to build a portfolio that tells a cohesive story Every image contributes to a narrative that showcases your mastery of your chosen genre. This narrative in turn, it attracts clients who are specifically seeking your expertise, which increases your chances of landing projects that really align with your passion. By focusing on one thing, your portfolio doesn't become boring. It becomes either not what an art director is looking for or exactly what an art director is looking for. Clients are looking for the best photographer that specializes in exactly what they're trying to achieve. Product photography, lifestyle photography, editorial photography, car photography. When you specialize in a specific niche, you're essentially becoming an expert in that field. That expertise sets you apart from generalists and it makes your work more appealing to a targeted audience. Think about it. If you're someone looking for a photographer to capture your wedding and you find one that specializes exclusively in weddings, you're much more likely to choose them over someone who does a little bit of everything. Specializing helps you tailor your marketing efforts. You can create a brand identity that's perfectly aligned with your niche from your website all the way to your social media presence. If you're a lifestyle photographer, you could also be looking for the best advertising agencies in your area that specialize in a lifestyle feeling to their ads or 
clothing brands that use lifestyle images to market their apparel, or you could be reaching out to tech companies that use lifestyle to sell their technology. This focused approach, it makes your message clear and it resonates with the right people. Specializing enhances your visibility. When potential clients search for a specific type of photography, your name is more likely to pop up if you're a specialist. This increases your chances of being considered for projects that match your expertise. In essence, specializing streamlines your marketing efforts and it allows you to effectively communicate your unique value to a targeted audience. This leads to more opportunities and a greater success in your chosen niche. Specializing allows you to deeply understand your target audience. You become attuned to their preferences, their needs, their expectations. Sometimes you're gonna know what they need before they do. This knowledge enables you to create images and an experience working with you that resonates on a personal level, making your work more valuable and more relatable and more impactful. When clients see that you specialize in exactly what they're looking for, they're more likely to trust your capabilities and your vision. When you suggest things that you can create as well that they might need, like video, you can create an ongoing relationship while fulfilling more needs than just their photography. In a competitive industry, standing out is crucial. Specializing is your ticket to setting yourself apart from the pack. It positions you as an authority in your niche, which makes it easier for potential clients to recognize and remember you. When someone's looking for a specific type of photography, your name should be the one that comes up because of your specialty and your expertise. Remember, specialties are searchable. No one ever just searches photographer. They search editorial, portrait, photographer, Toronto. When they see your portfolio, it should be examples of the best work within your niche and it should be your work in action if you've shot stuff that's been published on the web, on blog, or in magazines. Include those tear sheets. Specializing not only enhances your skills, but it also increases your perceived value. Clients are willing to pay more for a photographer who's an expert in their desired niche. Your knowledge, experience, your ability to consistently deliver exceptional results sets you apart from generalists and it allows you to command premium rates that reflect the quality and the exclusivity of your work. Specializing often requires specialty equipment. Specialty equipment makes your work unique and Often this equipment isn't owned by every photographer. Specialty equipment like lenses or lighting makes your work look polished and expensive and it's a worthwhile expense to bill back to your clients. My clients pay for studio fees whenever necessary, my digital kit which includes my laptop, my camera, my lenses, and my lighting kit if necessary. I own all my gear but I rent it to myself for every large production and my clients pay those fees. Specializing opens doors to networking opportunities within your chosen niche. You'll find yourself interacting with fellow specialists, industry professionals, and potential clients who share your singular passion. This networking leads to collaborations, work opportunities, and even exposure to projects that perfectly align with your specialty. If you photograph cars, go to car shows. If you shoot fashion, go to fashion shows. If fashion photography is your specialty, it makes you attractive to fashion brands, labels, and advertising agencies that have fashion brands as clients. It also attracts smaller labels that can't afford ad agencies, but they're willing to go to you directly for your expertise within the fashion space. If you see a networking event, go to it. Be ready with business cards or tappy and start practicing how to talk about your niche in the photography world. Being a car photographer or an advertising photographer or a drone photographer or a fashion photographer is way more interesting than just a photographer. Of course you'll get the question, what do you shoot? Your answer just can't be things that I see because doesn't everybody with an iPhone do that? Finding your photography niche and learning as much as you can about it until you become an actual expert in it is deeply satisfying. When you specialize, you get to do what you love with photography every single day. This level of fulfillment not only reflects in your work, but it keeps your enthusiasm and your creativity alive over the long term. The joy you'll experience while working within your specialty will radiate through your photographs. 
I love people, so being able to engage with new subjects and photograph new faces every session is very fulfilling, and it's kept me going for over 30 years. I love relating to my subject. I wouldn't be as happy as if I was a product photographer, but that's just me. A product photographer might say, hey buddy, my subjects are always on time, they don't talk back, and they're willing to stay as long as I need them. And by the way, I can shoot products at 3 a.m. Sometimes we choose our specialty and sometimes it chooses us. Specializing can contribute to the longevity of your career. As trends come and go, the expertise that you've built within your niche remains valuable. Clients who are passionate about that specific type of photography will always be seeking your services, providing you with a steady stream of work even in changing market conditions. There'll always be a need for product photography, headshots, editorial portraits, lifestyle photography, people-based advertising, and non-people-based advertising, and so much other photography work. Despite the rise of AI, it'll never replace human creativity. By the way, if you're a skeptic, feel free to disagree in the comments. Specializing isn't about limiting yourself. It's about unlocking your full potential within a focused area of photography. Imagine, if you shot just one thing for the rest of the year, don't you think you'd be better at it than if you shot whatever you wanted for the rest of the year? Specializing is a journey of growth, creativity, and expertise. Specializing empowers you to create images that leave a lasting impact on both your subjects and your clients, and the industry as a whole. Specialists are searchable, categorizable, and they make more money. To truly succeed in this photography world, you need to make your work desirable and exclusive. Emphasize the high-end quality of your photography. It makes it something that not just everyone can have. Have. By doing so, you're increasing the value of your photography and you're creating a sense of rarity. Remember, the experience of working with you should also be invaluable to your clients and subjects. Be fun and be brilliant. If you're a generalist, by the way, pick a niche and watch your photography get better. Thanks so much for watching.